Hey everyone, and Happy New Year. My name is William May with Century 21. Hey, this is a message for everybody uh, in the USA. Um, 2017, or maybe earlier, uh, the Department of Homeland Security uh, put a new um, uh, law out there where all the states in the union have to comply to, and that's called the Real ID Act. So I'm renewing my California driver's license. Uh, so 2018, the DMV, Southern California, started enforcing compliance. So I hadn't had a ticket in like 15, 18 years. So I got a letter from the DMV saying, hey, you know, bring in your $35 and check your vision and you'll be good to go. I'm like, okay, cool. You know, also I'm a school bus driver and so I'm renewing all my credentials so I'm renewing my credentials I go to the DMV and I show them my um, medical report um, because every two years you have to renew your medical so I'm giving them everything <laughs> they says okay well all you need is social security card um, your birth certificate and proof of residency or bill or something like that to prove your address and I'm like well I got my social security card they got the proof of residency but I don't have my birth certificate long story short get my birth certificate and my birth certificate you know has my mother's mainly name on it Davis so the previous birth certificate and I don't know how that was changed had Davis slash May on it and I only use May so everything on, on my information is William May, you know, and that's a pretty common name in California. But, you know, they said, hey, it's no good. <laughs> now I have to do a name change. So this video is basically if you're even for married people that got divorced or what have you, if you're renewing your license in any state or California, right now of this video is 2019 if you're renewing your driver's license and have to match up I, exactly from the information that, that i received uh to your birth certificate or if you have um a passport <clears throat> excuse me if you have a passport then you can use that but they have to match up identically so that's that's crazy now, the, the, the funny thing about this law is, you know, you, you get the smart ID, and then you can go into um, government facilities and you can fly domestically. But the funny thing about this law is if you're out of, out of the country and you have a passport from out of the country, you can fly around um, the U.S. domestically, no problem. But what happened if that... Um, passport is compromised from the other country well, i don't get that also too i guess they don't care you know um if you don't have a smart passport you know um you know that's not a requirement to vote so you can just go up to the voting place and show your bill to your your primary residence and say hey i don't have my id but i can vote i'll be like sure yeah, a big old loopholes in this bill. I, I I just don't understand it. So, hey, you know if you if you want to upgrade to the Smart ID, you can just make sure you bring your passport or your birth certificate and you do so. I hope this helps. If you have any questions? Hit me up on the bottom. But hey, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, and stay safe. Take care.